and sometimes we attract the wrong relationships because of lack of clarity because of not knowing what we are looking for lack of clarity leads to relationships growing apart it leads to relationship confusion it leads to relationship being very unhappy what is up guys welcome to yet another episode of kicking it with manny on today's episode, I wanted to talk to you guys about why relationships do not work these days and some tips that can help you improve your own relationship. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, subscribe for more episodes like this and let's dive into today's episode. When it comes to relationships not working, there are so many different factors that goes into this every relationship is different and every person in whatever relationships they are have their own struggles have their own issues or their own expectations whatever the case might be every relationship is going to be different but there are some things that most relationships do have in common as to why they are not working out especially in this day and age some relationship or most relationships do not work out for so many different reasons and when you think about it you can tell these relationships that are not working out have a lot of things in common that is what this episode is about and i wanted to share my own thoughts on some of these things that are not helping relationships improve the first thing when it comes to why most relationships do not work out has to do with lack of clarity lack of clarity in what he wants and what she wants when there is lack of clarity there is no sense of direction there is no sense of value if I don't know what I want and I just jump into any relationship without knowing myself or without knowing what I'm looking for, I tend to have certain unrealistic expectations. I tend to think about the person as being my source of happiness. I tend to look for certain looks in the person that I myself do not even bring the same thing to the table. So when you do not know what you're looking for due to not being clear or not having a clear picture of what relationship you are looking for or what you're looking for in a partner, you get to a point in a relationship and you become overwhelmed. You become very frustrated. You become very you feel like you were out of place. It's like putting a square in a round hole. It doesn't fit. And these day and age, we sometimes are afraid of being alone and getting to know ourselves. We always want to get into the next relationship just so that can feel some void inside us. We wanted to have someone we can talk to. We wanted to have someone that we can call our own and it is very normal to do that it is very normal to expect these things but that is why there is the dating process before the relationship itself if you don't know what you're looking for you will attract just anything you will look for just anything because either it looks pretty it makes you feel a certain type of way and you feel like oh this is really for me but in all reality and in all honesty you don't really know what you're looking for and if you don't know what you're looking for you're not going to have a clear picture of what it is that you will attract whatever comes your way you will attract that you will want to keep that and sometimes we attract the wrong relationships because of lack of clarity because of not knowing what we are looking for we don't know our values we don't know what we desire we don't know our expectations and you know it's having a relationship you expect certain things from the person if you bring certain things to the table you expect the same person to bring some things to the table so even if you don't have 
any expectations. You have something. So lack of clarity leads to relationships growing apart. It leads to relationship confusion. It leads to relationship being very unhealthy. And when this happens, it creates unhappiness. So if you are wanting to be in a relationship, know what you are looking for. If you don't know what you're looking for, spend time with yourself. Get to know you. Be alone and build up, you know, the person that you are. Build up your values. Build up your confidence. Build up what you know, what you desire. What you feel like will make you happy. No one else can make you happy in a relationship. That's for a fact. But if you want to attract someone to call a partner, they have to complement the life that you have. The second thing that I want to share, which I talk about almost on every other episode, is communication. <laughs> communication in a relationship is like the lifeline. You cannot have a relationship, or let me rephrase this. You cannot have a healthy relationship without a healthy communication, without a consistent communication, without a communication from every possible angle. If you get upset, how do you communicate? If you are happy, how do you communicate? If you want to show love and affection, how do you communicate? And how do you accept that back in return? These are things that we we ignore and we think, you know, if we are successful in business or if we are successful in other parts of our lives, we are automatically good at communicating and being able to understand other people. And sometimes that is not that is not the case because communication comes in so many different ways when it comes to a relationship. Communication in a relationship involves listening to each other it involves giving them your attention when you understand each other's communication method <laughs> your relationship will be so amazing so knowing and learning each other's communication method is one of the keys that can help improve your relationship the next thing that is super super important is unrealistic expectations this is killing a lot of relationship because we go into a relationship with the idea we see on social media we go into a relationship looking for a person who looks like a supermodel and we don't match that like we look at ourselves in the mirror physically you know you are not qualified to match this person we have unrealistic expectations because if you want to attract something, you have to match what you want to attract. You cannot go into, unless, let's see, there are so many different factors. And this has to do with having an honest conversation with yourself about what you look like. When I say unrealistic expectations, I am not just talking about physical looks. I'm not just talking about financial success. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about something deeper than that. So I'll give a couple of scenarios and I'll use the physical aspect of, as one of them and I will break it down even more. So if you go into a relationship wanting to attract or if you go uh, out there, try to put yourself out there, wanting to attract a certain type of man or a certain type of woman physically and you don't match that, how do you expect each other to work out? How do you expect to uh, to go into dealership, for example, and your price tag is for a Prius? You have a Prius um, budget and you want to purchase a Ferrari. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Think about this scenario again. You cannot go into a dealership with a Prius budget expecting to buy a Ferrari. It, is that it doesn't work that way. That's the same way when it comes to a relationship and this unrealistic expectations that we have. You know you physically do not match this woman or this man you are trying to attract. And yet, you want to be in a relationship with them. Yet, you want to lower your values and your standards just so you can, you can be what they want. 
And this goes vice versa. It can be for the guy. It can be for the lady. But you should be clear. You should have realistic expectations in what you look for. If you are a supermodel, a man or a woman, and you want to attract a supermodel, that energy might work. You cannot go into a relationship expecting the man or the woman to make six figures whilst you are earning just 20000 a year. It doesn't work that way. There are certain things we have to be clear about. We have to have a clear conscience, a clear identity of who we are and what we want in the relationship. You cannot go into a relationship expecting someone who is a vegan to match with you and you know you are not vegan. You know you are not what the person is and you guys' identity might not match. Sometimes we expect people to change. We expect to try to transform and help the person see light, see things from a different perspective. That is okay. Relationship is all about growing up and it's all about building together and becoming the best version of yourself together. But you cannot expect the person to do these things for you. You cannot expect these things from this other person and you don't bring the same thing to the table. You cannot a person you cannot expect a person to work um, this crazy hours at work and you don't do nothing at home. You cannot be a lazy bum trying to, um, wanting to attract or be with someone who earns six figures, who is driven, who is ambitious, who is working very hard on themselves and you don't have nothing going on. Yet you expect them to look at you a certain way. It doesn't work that way. Practically, you don't match. You cannot, um, you cannot, <laughs> I see this this thing is is very it's like common sense you attract what you are you, you will match with what matches with you you cannot just be with anyone so this unrealistic expectations that we have especially with the way social media has reprogrammed our mindset it is just insane so if you want a healthy relationship you must bring the same thing to the table that you want to attract if you know you're not going to settle for something don't go for it it doesn't matter how beautiful it looks it doesn't matter how handsome the, the, the person is it doesn't matter how much money they make if you know you don't match that energy you cannot stay in that relationship and be happy because eventually either two of you are going to resent each other or two of you are going to be on two separate pages so unrealistic expectations turns to put a burden and turns to uh, create a lot of drama in relationships and if you can avoid that and know what you want and what you bring to the table and expect that same thing in return your relationship will blossom the next thing that is very important that we tend to forget is putting in this inconsistent effort you see unrealistic expectations go similarly with inconsistent effort you cannot lack communication you see inconsistent effort tends to uh, create distance in a relationship and for me the biggest thing that i see a lot of relationships that struggle is that when they get the person they want when they are out of that honeymoon stage of dating friendship and now they are in the relationship they stop trying the people stop <laughs> stop going on dates anymore they stop having saturday nights out anymore they stop wearing lingeries to please each other anymore they stop being all, being all sexy and lovey-dovey they stop doing those things if you have worked very hard to earn a relationship with someone and they are happy and are committed to you why do you stop trying why do you stop being spontaneous why do you stop treating each other with so much love and affection why do you stop going on spontaneous dates why do you stop having fun fun keeps a relationship alive being spontaneous trying different things together like you guys did when you went on multiple first second third or fifth dates those these things that you guys were doing from the beginning that got each other that that got your interest in, in each other blossom you have to do even more now that you have each other because 
there's nothing more boring than being in a relationship with someone who has just who don't want to do nothing they will just they just want to chill at home and play video games <laughs> and that as as much as that being okay relationships cannot grow on that a lot of relationships when you have when you work hard to win this person you have to work hard to keep them that is one thing we have to think about if you work hard to win a person that you are now in a relationship with you have to double up the effort i know life happens i know we are busy but yes you are still busy when you are going on these dates you still have all these responsibilities but you learn to prioritize them now that you are with the person double up the effort create more spontaneous activities together do more fun things don't be boring now that you are with each other if you dressed all sexy on you guys' dates and going out and all that fun stuff, maintain that. If there is a way you can even tone it up, tone it up a little bit, it is still okay because we see each other every day now. We are with each other. Sometimes we can we, we tend to forget what we felt in love with in the first place. We tend to not think about it too much anymore. But the biggest thing is if you want your relationship to be spicy to be exciting and for the relationship to be filled with endless spontaneous happiness and adventures and memories together you have to double up the effort when you are now in this relationship i do hope this episode brings some value i know i touched on multiple different things but i want to know your thoughts and what you think about this episode what is working for your own relationship what are some things that you've tried that seems exciting and has been a blessing to your relationship i would love to hear that so please make sure you drop those in the comment section below i would love to read different comments about different ways that you guys are working on your relationship and different things that you are practicing to make your relationship blossom thank you so very much for checking out this episode and again if you haven't subscribed and you are new to this channel make sure you hit the subscribe button over here and i will see you in the next episode. Peace.